Cynthia, we had this year the first time the complex vascular malformation and vascular tumors as a topic. I think this is pretty new here at the vascular uh, feed meeting. What do you think about what was exciting, important? The most exciting thing to me was to have a whole day just devoted to this topic that I know you and I feel very passionate about, but it's great to see that V is honoring the topic uh, with an entire day and we had such great experts. It was really terrific to hear all of the different opinions and approaches. What about you? Now we have to really congratulate uh, Frank Fee to make this possible. The whole day talking and sharing experiences about complex vascular malformations and we have to thank the faculty that they were willing to share all their experiences with these patients. Making the point interdisciplinary approach is really something that's important and many people forget about that. There is not a single vascular physician who can care for these patients. I think that's such a great point and we had representation from all the different disciplines uh, from medicine, interventional radiology, diagnostic radiology, surgery, vascular surgery uh, and it was just uh, great to be able to exchange ideas with everybody and it was so well attended. I was so happy to see how many people were there and for the whole day. That was um, also terrific. I thought the, the room was like a sponge. Whenever a person dripped in, the person stayed because the, the impression was, yes, these people really share their um, um, experiences with these patients. And I think this is rarely done in a Congress like this. It's a huge Congress and did you recognize none of the faculty members have disclosure to make? So there That's was true. very low industry involvement, so we really shared experiences from the clinics. Yes, and, and uh, it was just great to, to see uh, the engagement in the faculty and how everyone was really behind it. It was a great program. And I think for the next year and the following years, we should repeat that. I mean, this is an unmet need. Uh, information on these patients. They are wondering around who's the right doctor and who can help me, at least making the other doctors uh, know where to send them to and what can be done, and then a lot can be done in these patients. We will attract even more people to listen to that topic, being underrepresented to all these vascular, surgical and interventional meetings in the past. I think VEETH is, is the place where people come to learn what experts around the world are doing in their field. Um, it's really a unique meeting. It, there's something for everyone uh, and uh, it, it's a great place to, uh, to gain knowledge of what's happening and the cutting edge in vascular malformations and indeed in any uh, area of vascular uh, therapies. Yeah. And a faculty willing to share um, information and tips and tricks how to manage these patients. I feel like in vascular malformations we share a lot with each other because we need to, because we need to learn from each other and there's not that many people that, that take care of patients with vascular malformations and so it's kind of a like a community of people um, and it's often very difficult to take care of these patients, so we help each other. We would like to congratulate Dr. Veith and all of his staff on 40 great years of uh, meetings. Uh, we know how hard it is to create such a wonderful program. Uh, it literally takes all year, uh, and thank you to Dr. Veith uh, and Jackie and all of the uh, people who've made this happen and make it such a great place to come every year. And the same was from my side. I think this was really a wonderful meeting and uh, malformation will hopefully impact that, that meeting in the future as well.